Hey dads, I have another great video for you today. The title is Overcoming Urges. You know, and I'm just so, I'm just pumped today because so many uh, of you um, dads have been joining my Facebook group and um, so it's just awesome. And so how did I come up with this title here? You know, I've, a couple of you have definitely given me some feedback on some different struggles and topics that you um, struggle with around weight loss. And one of those topics is overcoming urges. And um, so what is an urge? You know, what, what am I talking about when I talk about urge? Well, an urge is um, like an emotion. And it's an emotion around food, eating, and um, a lot of times it uh, sabotages your ever efforts for weight loss. And so I want to talk about that more today and how do you overcome that? Um, I think, honestly, I think we all struggle with urges. Um, so let's get into more of what an urge is. An urge is a lot about mindset and really weight loss in general and success around that has a lot to do with your mindset because you got to get out of your own way to be able to take the actions for success and usually your mind is in the way of that um so examples of urges and i'm sure there's a ton more but um some that came to my mind is sweets you know i just want something sweet right now or to eat some chocolate or um, eating when I'm full. Um, I do that all the time. I'll just be like, I just want to eat something even though I know I don't um, need to. Um, and foods that don't serve you. Um, for, for me, that has been a number of foods. For one, it was peanut butter. Um, so I just stopped buying it. And that worked for me. Um, you know, what works for you might be a little different, but that worked for me. Um, do what is easy. You know, when we're busy dads, you know, and we've got four kids and we don't know what's for dinner, it's just so easy to stop at the, um, you know, fast food restaurant and grab some stuff or take out or do something like that. And because we don't have time to cook. And so... We just go to that. Um, so, you know, a lot of that just takes planning and just being intentional about it and making it a priority. So that's basically what urges are. Um, so what I want to tell you now about is how to overcome those urges. Um, and, you know, a lot of this I, I discussed earlier that urges are mental. They're emotions, you know. We, um, we got to get out of our own way. And how do we do that? Well, this is something I talk about in my program that I go through with dads is I talk about CTFAR. So what is that? The C stands for circumstance. The T stands for thought. The F stands for feelings. And the A stands for actions. And the R stands for results. And one leads to another. Circumstance is um, something that is out of your control. Um, like a, um, you see a fast food restaurant or um, you see something sweet. That's kind of, I mean, that's basically a circumstance. It just kind of came up, it's there. Now, how are you gonna think about it? So what are your thoughts around the circumstance that came up and how does that affect your feelings, your actions, and then ultimately your results, which plays on what your weight loss success is. So, um, number one, recognize the urge. Recognize it. You know, a lot of times we go through life on autopilot and we're not even realizing that we have urges to eat something sweet or, um, and my clients have told me this, and I've, I've played it out in my own life, is we're not recognizing those urges, so we're just kind of going through, and then we're looking at after, the, after it's already happened, after the fact. And so the first step is to recognize that you're 
there's an urge and that you're doing something that may not be leading to weight loss success. Recognize them. Get out of autopilot. Old habits. Um, you know, as they say, old habits are hard to break. So what we're here to do today is to break those old habits. And so recognize when you have those urges. Okay, that's the first step. Recognize that they're, they're not bad, that they're opportunities. So when you have an urge, it's an opportunity. You've recognized it, now what do we do? Learn to feel it. So this is the, the critical part, and it's a little bit difficult to explain, um, but learn to feel it and allow it. So you have an urge. You have an urge to eat something sweet. You, what you do is you recognize that, you say this is an opportunity to take my power back. So allow that urge. You don't have to actually act on it, okay? Um, it, when you, um, when you allow it, it's going to take time. At first, you will not succeed every time that you have an urge or whatever. But just because you want to eat sweets, it's what you're thinking about it. But it doesn't mean that you need to go get something sweet. You can just feel it and allow it. Um, so how some of my clients have gotten over these urges by maybe, you know, if it's a, a proper setting, like you're in your car and you see a fast food restaurant, um, hey, I want to stop and get a milkshake or I want to get um, a cheeseburger, you know, um, you scream when that happens, okay? That may seem kind of weird, but it, it, it works for uh, a lot of people. Um, do 50 push-ups. Do some deep breathing. Um, you can even have a salt rock in your car. Hon honestly, a lot of times, salt is a great appetite suppressant and a lot of times we just need salt when we feel hungry. And the salt can suppress your appetite and actually give you um, enough power to overcome this need to eat just because you see a fast food restaurant. Also, um, you can have accountability partners. If uh, you're going to do something, you can promise your spouse, hey, um, if... I'm feeling like I need to do this, I'm going to give you a call, or um, I'm going to let you know later, or something like that. Also, um, I've had clients that said that if um, I take a certain action or act on an urge that I am going to give, I'm going to pay out a certain amount of money. You have to find out what works for you, but those are some great examples of how my clients have taking their power back and overcome their urges for whatever it is that is sabotaging their weight loss success. So number four, after you have determined what allows you to take your power back and overcome your urges, you have control over your urges and now you have become awesome at urges. But I want to let you know that this takes time, that you have to recognize it, you have to, um, you know, you have to recognize also that it's an opportunity, learn to feel it and allow it, use different tools, whatever that is for you, to overcome it. I've given you some different examples that have worked for my clients, and, um, you know, basically, become awesome at urges. And over time, you'll go from uh, getting out of, of a little bit of them to getting out, you know, to um, taking your power back over most of them and eventually all of them. So that's um, that concludes today's video. Um, just let me know in the comments below some of the different uh, urges that you're struggling with, how you've overcome them, and uh, what you're still struggling with. If you would like uh, to uh, more help with this, 
reach out to me on my website at brianjknight.com. Um, I also have a Facebook group, if you're not already in there, um, at Weight Loss for uh, Busy Dads. Also, um, you can um, sign up for a free call with me. I'll include the link uh, below in the, um, the comments with this uh, video and sign up for a free call with me. So uh, till next time, uh, stay healthy and I'll see you in the next video.